you to the blue area of the moon. An area that, for some reason, you can breathe without a spacesuit. Nearly kills everyone around her just by yelling stop, while Tony Stark builds a magical transformer to attack the phoenix. There you go, Marvel's out of ideas. There's only one scene with the gun, no one actually gets shot. Rebooted into a more uh, grimy character with the new 52. Welcome to yet another Comic Pal video review. This time I'd like to look at Happy Number 2. Happy is a miniseries that Grant Morrison's writing um, with Derek Robertson as the artist. Um, I picked it up because it sounded like a really interesting uh, miniseries. It's only four issues, so it's not too much of a um, cost commitment. And it's about an ex-cop um, who's now um, killing mobsters for money um, to support his drinking and his other bad habits and also for his eczema medication um of course you know leave it to someone like grant morrison to you know take something that's you know um not out of the ordinary a crooked cop or an ex-cop or whatever um you know noir style comic book and then throw this weird ass twist as you know he's also has eczema which you know just adds to his character and a lot of people make fun of him for it but um, uh, it's just like a really weird extra thing. Um, now, um, basically at the end of the last issue, um, the main character, um, Nick, um, saw this blue, you know, Pegasus style cartoon looking horse that appeared to him and told him that he was in trouble because he was in a mob hospital and they were going to kill him because he had just done a hit on, um, this uh, very powerful gangster's um, sons, including one that wasn't supposed to be there, but happened to join in. When this issue starts, um, the the horse, um, you know, Pegasus named Happy, is trying to convince him to get a move on, that he needs to really um, um, get past these uh, mobsters so they can go on to help this little girl. Um, this little girl um, is base happy is her imaginary friend. So it's a really weird, um, premise, but, um, I really, really enjoyed this issue. Um, sometimes Grant Morrison can be a little incomprehensible with his dialogue or his plots. Um, but not in this one. This one's actually pretty straightforward. Um, perhaps because he does, he's not drawing on all these, you know, uh, silver age and golden age references. He's just telling a straightforward story um and so basically once nick escapes from that um this this blue horse happy continues to try and um convince him to go help this girl and you know um nick just thinks that he's he's incredibly high because the you know the mobsters drugged him in order to to um that to take over him, you know, to subdue him, make sure he wouldn't be able to fight back. And on top of that, he's also a, um, you know, a drug addict and, and an alcoholic. So he's not sure that this horse is even real, even though Happy has been guiding him, um, you know, which way to go to avoid um, things that are going on. He just thinks he's losing his mind. So <clears throat> in order to um, prove to himself that Happy is actually real, he goes to play a poker game, and he has Happy um, tell him the cards that everyone has so that he can cheat, and he can, he can win at this poker game and get a whole bunch of money. And uh, he promises Happy that he'll go help this little girl um, if he helps him win the poker game. And um, so right there, that tells you a lot of what you need to know about this s series. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's really crazy and... Um, there's a really weird premise, and so um, if if this you know gets you interested, and uh, it, you know whether or not Grant Morrison turns you on or off to the story, I think it's worth checking out. Um, it's on Comixology, so if your comic shop is out of it, <clears throat> or if you need to, if you want to read it for a dollar cheaper, you know now that the first issue's passed, I recommend going back and reading the first issue and seeing if it um, if if you like it. Um, so now going on to spoilers. Um, Nick decides to, um, to cheat. Basically, the, uh, Happy helps him win, and then he takes off. 
and he and he he wants to use the money to get out of town. And um, you know, the horse Happy keeps trying to tell him, "Hey, you got to go help this girl. She's gonna grow up to be a doctor that cures eczema and all this stuff." And Nick doesn't want to hear any of it. Um, and where you know where this might just seem like a weird, almost Deadpool like you know, uh, story up till now with just this weird horse and all this stuff. When you get to the last, the last, um, page and it shows, um, who's kidnapped Happy's friend, you know, the happy, the girl who Happy's an imaginary friend of, um, you realize the stakes are pretty high and this actually, um, could be a pretty brutal drama. Um, I'd like to um, see exactly where Grant Morrison goes. So he's used up two of his four issues so far. The first one was set up, great issue, really got me into it. The second one, um, Happy proves that he's real, so that so one thing accomplished. And you got to see a lot of how Nick operates and what he does and stuff. But we're still left wondering, okay, um, how is he going to get to this girl? What is he going to do? When, how is he going to resolve the issue? You know, what does it mean that he can see this horse? Is he actually going crazy? You know, like, there's a lot of stuff left, and there's there's two issues left. Now, two issues? Plenty for a story arc. You know, most comic book story arcs are somewhere between three and five issues. But um, uh, Morrison really has me um, curious to see where he goes with the next issue. Um, I'd give this one a four out of five stars. Um... One last thing I'd like to say, um, this series is not at all for kids. It is very, very rated R, very mature, you know, a lot of, of not just profanity, but very, like the most profane words, um, and a lot of, um, very disturbing things happen, so, um, definitely it's, it's just for adults or kids that you know are very mature and able to handle this stuff. Um, but let me know what you thought of, of the issue and what you thought of my review um, here on the YouTube comments, in the Comic Vine comics, or in the Comic Pile comments if you happen to see it there. Thanks.